everybody. Happy New Year. It's that time again. It's third Friday, this Friday, February the 17th here at downtown Salisbury. I'm Mayor Jim Ireton. Talking to Andrea from AIG. Tell us what's going on we, this third Friday here. We are so excited. This third Friday we have our Blooming Artist Youth Show with children from all over Delmarva. Plus our Chili Bowl fundraiser where you buy a one-of-a-kind artisan work and get fabulous chili with it. That's terrific. Tell us about the kids that are participating in the art show on Friday. We have children from all over Delmarva, including Baltimore, from the local BPA program, the Visual and Performing Arts program at Bennett, uh, Y High, and Parkside. Wow. What, um, well, they, they'll be here with their families. What are some of the, the genres that, they, uh, that, they are, that they're in? I see we have this one right here. We have this one. This is a BPA student. The, some of the genres, actually they're all represented. Anything from sculpture, oil, acrylic, pencil, clay, whatever. That's all right. Here. All right, so first things first, this Friday, February the 17th, third Friday, uh, Friday of Love. Some people are calling it here on the plaza. Got to get down to AIG, come visit uh, the Chili Bowl cook-off. All of the student art and young people art displays are going to be out. Uh, we look forward to seeing you down here. Andrea, thank you for You're having welcome. me. And uh, we look forward to seeing you downtown. I'm across the street now from the AIG in the city center building here with Rick Tillman from Sperry Van Ness. Rick's going to tell us what happens when we bring people for two straight years downtown, what happens in a building like this. Rick, give us the good news. Um, what we've done here in probably about the last three months is we've went from a 10% uh, occupancy to a 60% occupancy. Uh, a lot of it has to do with uh, Amber Nicole's bridal and formal wear. Um, we've put about six other tenants just on this floor. We've also put in 5,000 square feet on the third floor as a church. Uh, Remedy Church has come here. We've done a couple offices on the second floor and, uh, and working on the restaurant. Uh, coming in. So actually in the last three months this uh, building uh, actually has life. It's probably been since about 2005 when people saw life in this but I think people are starting to come downtown and see that uh, these small businesses can come down here and the more that come down here I think they all in this particular instance they all did it kind of at the same time so it's really brought a big rush of people down here and you can see life again once in this building so, so exciting. if, if pretty exciting. people are downtown this third Friday it's supposed to be decent weather they're walking around they're across the street at the, at the art show uh, they're down the street at Mojo's. They come in here. Let's just say you got a wedding coming up. Uh, you got a wedding coming up in the spring. What's just on this first floor? Just on this f first floor is uh, actually you could almost do all your wedding shopping in one floor. Uh, you've got, uh, like I said, Amber Nicole's. They got the dresses and the formal wear. Uh, we just put in an event planner behind us. Uh, we also have a seamstress in here. We have a DJ and. Um, uh, band booking uh, company, uh, as well as we're working on a couple other things in here. But just those alone, I think anybody who is looking to do a wedding, you have to come through here. Whether you use any of these services in here or not, you're going to have to come through here just because this is kind of a one-stop shop for weddings. Right. All right, so we're on the west end of the plaza now. We're going to head east to talk about Mojo's, the Revolving Loan Fund, and talk to the Salisbury Wicomico Arts Council about their Love Festival coming up on Friday night. Rick? Appreciate all Thank your work, you. appreciate your Thank help, you. and we'll see you in a minute. Now we're on East Main Street, in front of the newest place and our newest downtown revolving loan fund partner, Mojo's. This Friday, February the 17th, third Friday, you got to get down here. If you're here late enough, you may even end up in a line to get in. And how long has it been in downtown Salisbury since there was a line to get in someplace? We congratulate Joel and Rob for this great new place. We're in it all the time. We're headed down East Main Street to the Salisbury Wicomico Arts Office to find out what's going on on their Friday of love. Come on. Our love is created from his touch. In a secret place I dream of such. To be alone, God said, wasn't good, yet alone I was. Had I understood? Mayor, Mayor, that's so beautiful, but oh, this is third Friday. Oh, it's third Friday. Oh. It's third Friday. It's third Friday. We're at the east end of Main Street. Oh, I forgot where we were. Friday the 17th of February. It's third Friday. I'm with Therese Hamilton, the executive director of SWAC. We are talking about love, Therese. What's going on down here? Yes, third Friday at SWAC is the art of love. You know, art takes many forms, and love is one of the most beautiful. So we're going to celebrate the art of love here this Friday. We're going to have poetry readings about love, and we're asking people to come and have open mic night, share your poetry reading. We're going to have love songs playing. We're going to have love on film. We're going to show a lovely movie. We're going to have heart valentines. We're going to create heart crafts and have treats. 
and we're going to just be all warm and fuzzy That's and terrific. full of love. <laughs> Therese, give us the exact address of SWAC. It's right downtown off Main Street, but it's actually a Poplar Hill address. It is 104 Poplar Hill Avenue, and we're above Season's Best Antique Store. Above Season's Best. And an open mic night, so love songs. Let's just talk about this week. We lost one of the greatest love song singers of all time. So maybe we'll get some open mic night people uh, with the greatest love of all or love will save the day or saving all my love yes. for you, any of those things. So it's third Friday. It's Valentine's Day week. I turned 42 years old this week. <laughs> we need you to come downtown from the AIG to the city center to Mojo's, our six restaurants, our two ga art galleries, our bakery, both of all of our shops. Go over to Chesapeake East. Come down here to SWAC. It's a big one coming up third Friday, February 17th downtown Salisbury. I'm Jim Meyerton. Join us downtown.